I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm whispering a little bit. It's because it's in the middle of the night and I'm pretty sure my other two roommates are asleep. And I mostly just kind of feel awkward about this anyway. Change of plans for the Instagram trending. I'm looking at a list of the 20 most popular tags on Instagram. I'm gonna go through them and give my commentary on the tags and kind of like what I think of the hashtag in general, but then also if I've ever used the hashtag and then what that means. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you want to. Here we go. First hashtag, of course, would be love. So let's go into Instagram. This currently says that there are 868,971,906 posts that say hashtag love. Um, this website, The Daily Dot, says Instagram's top tag relates to a simple human emotion. It's largely used by Instagrammers sharing what they care about, be it animals, pop stars, or their own faces. I have used the hashtag love multiple times on different posts. Um, I feel like it's usually if I'm posting like an appreciation post for like my best friend or a family member. Most recently my dad had a birthday um, and I Instagram like a cute little photo of him from back in the day on like one of our vacations and I use the hashtag love. So that's kind of like what I do. Or if I just get like a really good cup of coffee, I'll take a picture of it and hashtag it love because I love me some coffee. Okay, number two on the list is Instagood. Now I never really hashtag Instagood. It's basically if you think that one of your pictures is like super good, then you hashtag it with Instagood. Pretty self-explanatory. Pretty like typical, I guess, right? Right, maybe. Not many of these pictures are actually very good. I feel like the the standard has been lowered since it's become so popular, maybe. It's hashtag photo of the day. I've personally never done a photo of the day, but let's see how many how many photos, how many days there are. Um, 300 million posts for photo of the day. So photo of the day is an example of Instagrammers seeking approval from their peers. However, this one is a little different as the best photo in the tag each day is featured in a gallery. Now let's go see which one was featured today. Oh, just, just kidding. Um, that website was blocked. The other day, I clicked on a picture of a grilled cheese sandwich, and the click-through link took me somewhere, don't know where, because it got blocked. iPhone only, hashtag me, oh, that's awful. Just like, really? Hashtag summer, I love hashtag summer. Sometimes, um, especially during the winter, when it gets like, and it, it's just awful here in Pennsylvania and there's just like snow everywhere or if it's like this year when there actually wasn't that much snow it was just so cold and the wind was out of control oh, oh my goodness um I would like go on Instagram and like look up the hashtag summer just like look at all of these different pictures from all over the place and like different people's vacations and I'd like dream about being there instead yeah um, hashtag TBT or Throwback Thursday, um, one of my favorites. Um, I mostly love Throwback Thursday. I don't post a lot of Throwback Thursdays, but like I have my own personal Throwback Thursdays because one of my favorite things is going through old photographs and things. Hashtag Sky, which seems a little like, okay, that's fine, whatever. I, I, I mean, the sky is pretty, like, incredible, but, um, yeah. I am always so fascinated by, like, how, like, who was the first person to Instagram a picture of the sky and then just be like, oh my god, whatever. Um, let's try to see if I can wrap this video up. Anyways, go follow me on Instagram. Um, leave a comment below saying, like, what your most common 
hashtag is maybe that could be interesting to see most recently mine's been american lit because i keep posting like very similar pictures of me drinking coffee and reading franny and zoe mm, yeah um i don't know what i'm doing can you tell i was trying to hide it but